Well, it's something that for such a long time, women were told that it's not okay to be sexy or you can be sexy, but you can only be sexy in this way. And if you be sexy any other way, it's wrong. As opposed to having the idea that whatever makes you feel confident and whatever makes you feel good about yourself is inherently sexy. So it's really teaching women that it's okay to do what they feel strongly about. And even if it's not what society might say, that's what we classify as sexy. If it makes them feel great about themselves, then it's sexy to them and that's okay. I think because it's something that you're a lot more vulnerable going into and it's something that's really like teaching empowerment and things like that. So with a lot of people finding that together, it really helps them grow together. To be sexy means something different to every person. It's something that we really try to foster is that everybody is welcome to have their own pathway and their own growth experience. Um, that we are welcoming to anybody who also has an open mind and we find that it's really important that they be able to fully express what they value to get the best personal experience they can. So we always joke about the fact that pole attracts misfits. So people have always kind of felt a little bit uh, odd or <laughs> um, kind of eclectic, is that the right word? Whatever, you didn't fit into whatever group you were trying to be a part of. And that's what makes it, because pole is so unique and somewhat stigmatized that I think we all bond off of that. The fact that we just love something so different and kind of it has a variety of things so we can all kind of pull together our different personalities. At Muse, we really pride ourselves on just being like a family. Everyone's really inviting to anyone who walks in and you end up making friends with everyone and these are your friends, these are the people I hang out with all the time. It's nice to have that when you're here and you're trying to get away from the stress of life and then you just like have your friends and you all dance together. There's something about sharing art with friends that's really great. I always love dancing, but being a dancer, female dancer, I feel like there's this sort of stigma of your body type that you have to be, because you have to be like that nice, lithe, skinny, like float on air kind of dancer, and I was never that, and this was like a really good fit for me. I think it's empowering because I think it's just, you do you, you know, you come in, you do what you want to do in terms of style. If you want to feel sexy and you feel sexy, then go for it. Do it. You know, no one's here to judge you. And, you know, I think for me, when I did it, I always wanted to express my sexy side, but I never felt like I had the support. Whereas now, I mean, I have a great support of friends here and they empower me to say, you know, if you want to try this, I think it'd be great. They, you know, inspire me to be my quirky self. So it is empowering. I feel like I've been my most true self since being here. Mm -hmm.